Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, January 4th. Happy New Year 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Answorth for Longmont Public Media. Now the full moon, Friday, January 6th. That would be beautiful if it's clear. We've got some partly cloudy skies going then. The sun is pretty active. There's all sunspot activities in the north and south hemisphere and uh, reports of fun aurora going on. So, yeah, the sun is definitely active phase right now. Taking a look at drought conditions, things got a little better in the north and a little worse in the south. Not a lot of these storm systems have affected places south of Colorado Springs. Kind of interesting. So there it is, a little relief up here, like down there. So we'll see as the snow melts, soaks into the ground, how that changes. Nationally, I didn't see much change except in the Ohio Valley um, at all. So except Longmont uh, accidentally hopped southeast 30 miles so new place to drive home to here's our snow tally watching the animation going uh, forward started out good went back to about 100 percent and it always format differently each time so I try to get the lines to line up but uh, here we are after our big pre-christmas snow dump one that ruined my forecast uh, 126 percent uh, of normal so Wonderful. Just keep on going, getting the, um, get as much snow as we possibly can. A lot of the west is getting a lot more moisture than it has in years. Had another storm in the new year. It uh, was pretty nasty out in the northeast corner of the state, up in Wyoming. Didn't drop that much. Uh, I hit totals in my forecast pretty good for about half of my forecast locations. And then the snow came just under my window and others, but around Longmont in the inch area, pretty good. Over on Boulder, which is interesting, we usually get more, almost the same, three quarters of an inch to a little over an inch. And then you have to add to that uh, almost another inch, Longmont, half inch the next day, another about half inch or so, almost an inch, in one, is that 1.2 down here, um, for two days. So it, it was about a 36 hour event with a big dry slot and some downslope in the middle that stopped the storm for a while. Taking a look at the actual liquid precipitation total is pretty light. So it was blizzardry out here, but uh, not so much water came out of the system. Severe weather, got stuff in the southeast as that storm departs the nation. Got another system coming in. We're going to see storm after storm crashing into California. They're going to go from uh, long-term drought to at least a short-term drought relief. I don't know what the long-term drought relief may end up being, but you're gonna see a lot of lakes, rivers uh, get up to flood stage for a while, and it'll be interesting to watch. There's Thursday, more stuff in California, and then nothing on Friday. Looking nationally, we've got heavy rain, we've got snow, uh, feet of snow are falling in the Cascades, mountains out there. Some interior snow all the way to almost Idaho. Big system coming up in the uh, north, like Buffalo and places like that need anymore. We're going to Thursday, a uh, very complex system with heavy snow possible in the mountains and heavy rain and flash flooding possible, even around Los Angeles, Northern California. Uh, low coming towards us with no moisture left over. Mountain range after mountain range wring the moisture out in systems like this. Uh, going to Friday, we have, we're going to see system after system dump snow on the western slopes, which is great. I mean, that's where we need the snow for our, our real um, snowpack and water supply and the water supply to Colorado. But uh, yeah, not a lot comes over the mountains over the next 10 days. Not much in the way of smoke nationwide. Looking over the next 10 days, the normal high is starting to rise, 43 to 44. Normal low is bottoming at 18. I have a little teeny chance of showers. This stuff coming over the mountains on the 7th of January. A little bit of stuff later on the 12th and 13th. There was a big snowstorm for Martin Luther King Day and the next day um, <laughs> and the next model run totally vanished. So I'm not even going to show that in uh, the long range. It's way too variable. It's, if you go run to run, storms are hopping four or five states different from where they are in the previous run. So it's pretty much a random number generator at that point. Take a look at the 
a water vapor satellite loop. There's a big low in the upper Midwest heading into Great Lakes. And we have another big system coming in to the west. Taking a look at uh, Thursday, there's that low. Making it to the Great Lakes, here comes that next system. We have a ridge over us, finally giving us a relatively warm temperatures. I'm not going to say it's a lot. For the next system of any note is Tuesday, and it's not much. There's a lot of trophy mist and shortwave action going in the west. Lots of showers everywhere. This little thing kind of comes in and gives the mountains a good dose of snow. Even with a low over about Longmont, nothing east of the Continental Divide, really. Uh, rain in northern Arizona, they need that. And more rain coming in. Some severe weather in northern Florida. So let's put it in motion. Watch, this is a very progressive pattern. So the waves are short, so are on the move from west to east. We have a ridge, then we have a trough by Saturday, dry, nothing coming. Another ridge going into Sunday, so we'll warm up a little bit. Here comes another low into California. Then a ridge kind of forms over the mountains by Tuesday, and then a trough is digging in, slamming California, Nevada, Utah, making it to us, and not much beyond that. So, yeah, trough, ridge, trough, ridge, pretty interesting. Not a lot of cold air around. We have our current cold air that departs just quickly. It's boom, it's gone. Uh, there it is again. We've got lots of warmth to our south. Mountains get uh, a little cool, but going on to the weekend, most of the nation is now above normal. Where you see the blues in the west is probably the deeper snow. There's some Canadian air coming down into the Dakotas, Minnesota, Great Lakes, uh, off the east coast. Uh, Thursday and Friday next week. So nothing really notable cold front wise. We, we won't see a lot of melt day to day, but it will slowly melt. So here we go into Friday, storm hitting snow in the western mountains. Fades out, picks up again in Arkansas, across Arkansas, Missouri. Big storm hitting California again by Monday, and then another one with really heavy weather on Tuesday. Wednesday, another system comes in, California, going into our northeast part of the state, but nothing on the eastern plains. So, northwest part of the state, nothing on the eastern plains. There's another system hitting California. And still start making news as mudslides and lizard slide and like that. There's another one slamming in. So, well, that's the beginning of it. So, yeah, very active west coast uh, progression of storm systems. For the next five days, just what we saw, the precipitation, this is liquid equivalent, uh, remains out in the western part of the state. Snow, not too heavy, as we've seen some pretty significant snows so far. Uh, Better stuff hits over the next 10 days, some of the higher elevations so get some good snow. So we dig ourselves uh, after Thursday out of the 30s and we hover around in the 40s, see 50 by the beginning of next week. But it looks dry uh, around Longmont for the next seven days. Just interesting to show you the uh, National Weather Service or NOAA's long range forecast for January. This is a forecast that was made mid-December Let's keep this in mind, all the warmth down here, warmth in the west, only cold is up here. Whoa, and I hit the microphone to shut off the layer. That's the Longmont trash truck calling. If you take a look at uh, January, two weeks later forecast, all eastern half is now warm, and now they got below normal in the west. So it's a dramatically different forecast for the very same month, made two weeks apart. Let's take a look at the precipitation. So they have the northern interior states in Ohio Valley, very wet, very dry to the south. This is the mid-December forecast for all of January. And if you pop to the end of December forecast for all of January, almost nothing is dry, but Texas, New Mexico, sorry, Texas, New Mexico, and Mexico border, and most of the nation is equal to above normal precipitation. I just don't know what to do with forecasts that are so radically different. So. I'll have to look. We'll, have, we'll do a printout maybe at the end of January to see what actually happened with temperatures and precipitation and see how that looks. Longmont Leader, Brookfield Leader has frequent weather updates and lots of great local news. Check those sites out. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Unsworth. Keep looking up.